money, 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 money. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and and welcome to how to how to print money without knowing how to print money. Simple. Oh. For this tutorial, we'll be making American dollars because Australian dollars are harder to copy, and they already look kind of fake. Plus, US money is TV money. The first step to making our fat stacks is to create a template as a guide to chop out our money. So get some real dollar bills if you have them, and trace their outline onto a piece of paper. I found this arrangement was the most efficient. But if you don't have any cash handy, and who does in this economy, then you can just measure it out at 6.5cm by 15.5cm. I tried working that out in inches, but then I realised it was 2015. Anyway, it's not the size that matters, but how much money it can make. Now that you have your template, head over to your local office supply store and buy a cheap pack of paper. Then ask them to cut the paper down based on the lines of your template. Now remember, you don't have to be too precise with your lines here, because when you take it to your office supply shop, they'll just take all day and cut wherever they want. And at $1 a cut, who's really printing money here? Okay, while the office supply store is butchering your hard work, drop by a variety store and pick up a cheap briefcase. Nothing too fancy, something that'll get the job done. I mean, we're not made of money... yet. Wow, it looks like it's somehow going to take overnight to cut the paper. So let's go back home and focus on the face of our money. So dress up nice, strike a presidential pose, and take a photo. And you can then use that image to Photoshop yourself onto some money. Now there's plenty of sites out there that can do it automatically, and a link to the one I used is in the description. Of course, one problem I had was my Voldemort syndrome, where if you raise the contrast in any given photo, my nose disappears. I blame Harry. Okay, now that you've downloaded your money file, you can now print it out. Ooh, put paper in your printer, and make sure the picture's dimensions are the same as those outlines you did in the template. Right, now it's time to pick up our fat stacks. Now that you have your cut paper, count out one pile of 100, then just try to match up the rest, sort of like a real drug deal. Hmm, they're looking good, but they're not quite ready yet, because just like my legs, they're a little too white. To give them the fake tan they need, brew a whole lot of tea or coffee and pour it into a large dish. That's one for the money, and one for me. Ah, now this may be taking a while, but hey, time is money. Now it's time to dunk your stacks into the tea or coffee, making sure to get all the sides. Oh, and be careful, hot water's hot. You can use gloves if you like. I only got the cheap ones, because gloves are money. A lot of things are money. Once you've dunked them, leave your soaked wads to dry, and then submerge your printed money for a couple of minutes. Be careful when taking them out though, because they may break easily. Kind of like what we're doing with the law. And make the money seem more legitimate by drying them on the financial review. Now, when everything's dry, cut out your newly printed notes onto each pile. Then strap them in. Of course, these cool money strips you see in the movies and TV are cheaply available at office supply stores in the US. Or maybe even free at a bank if you sweet talk them. And after working my charm at some Australian banks, I made my own out of paper and sticky tape. Congratulations, you now have fat stacks. Pile them into your briefcase using the secret, and the secret is to put blank ones that you couldn't be bothered printing on the bottom. Then, put the misshapen ones and the ones you didn't cut out properly on the second layer. And of course, put the cream of the crop on top. It's movie magic. You can print out a reverse image for the bottom of your stacks, or if you can't be bothered, just, just don't show people the bottom. Now take your newfound fortune and start hustling. Ah, so here's the money we agreed with. Have you got what I need? Oh. Thank you. Oh, samurai sword, is it? It's a bit shorter than I thought it'd be. Yeah, well, it's, it's not the size that counts, but... Okay, now you, mystery man, here's the money we agreed with. Have you got what I asked for? Is a Santa hat. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it'd be a bit more Santa-y. Oh, it doesn't matter how Santa it is, what ma Look, look, don't worry about the thing, just take it. Ah! Wow, this uh, fake money business can be kind of dangerous, so it's important to remember not to trick anyone into thinking that the money's real, or else you might get a call from the Federal Reserve. Oh, speak of the devil. Hello. Now listen here, you're not allowed to just print money out of thin air. Isn't that what you guys do? Yeah, but it's funny when we do it. And that's how to print money without being too big to fail. I'm Sam Tucker. Ah, oh, smells like success. And coffee. Subscribe to Jay. Punk it down. Hey hustlers, now while banks might not accept your newfound riches, I tell you who will. 
audibletrial.com forward slash Sam time where you can get a free audio book. Talk about printing things out of thin air. They're printing books out of thin air. Stop the presses. Wait, no. And welcome to how to print your own money without knowing how to print your own money. Simple. I oh, you can't see it. Simple.